goodness comes in Kimbozi, Kimungo Kimbozi, Kimungo Kimbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people wherever we have to be on the face of this earth. Karibu, welcome, my name is Kwende, and today we're going to get into another important subject, and that subject is Garveyism and Asbwak. The supreme visionary Marcus Garvey is a polymath, multi-genius, had excellent skills expressed in many spheres of African life. And one of the arenas uh, of excellence was, is in the area of uh, spiritual practitioning. And according to one of the uh, prominent members of the clergy, in the upper part of the so-called 20th century, 1930 to be, to be precise, a, a Reverend Porter had this articulation to describe the genius field efforts of Marcus Garvey. He says, quote, I do not know whether or not Marcus Garvey is aware of the fact that he has given the world a new religion. Nevertheless, he has. To me, Garveyism is a religion which is sane, practical, inspiring, and satisfying. It is of God, hence a divine, excuse me, hence, hence a devout Garveyite cannot deny the existence of God, but sees God in you. I and the world. So were the words of Reverend Porter in 1930. And that thrust of spiritual, of organized spiritual thrust in service of African souls, in service of African betterment, is uh, of profound importance to this day. And as we know, the three core principles of Garveyism, race first, self-reliance, and nationhood, are core in that spiritual expression. And we can summarize race first, uh, race first self-reliance, and nationhood as uh, as R, F, S, R, and N. R, F, S, R, and N. And that is of profound importance to Asbok, African spirituality by way of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is heavily inspired by Gavi. The colours are obvious. The colours of the red, the black and the green are Garvey's orchestration. They were brought forth by Garvey. They are symbols of excellence, of order, of discipline. The red, black and green is the flag of the nation, the Benderia Taifa, as it is called in Kiswahili. And we see the symbols reflective of that during the wonderful observance of Kwanzaa. But, it, but the inspiration from Garvey is even more deeply rooted than uh, the aesthetic symbol, it's part of the value structure during his physical lifespan. Garvey articulated the following. Your duty today 
Believe in the Creator. Lift yourself, lift your family, lift your clan, lift your race, lift your country, lift your nation, and be an imperial whole. And of course, we know the foundation principle of the Aguza Saba is umoja, which means unity, to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Even at a cursory glance, we can see that familiar thrust in that umoja value. So Garveyism flows with us. It is part of our progressive African world experience in a massive way. And as Bwak, African spirituality by way of Kwanzaa harmonizes beautifully with the thrust of Garveyism. So in Asbwak terms, and remember the core principles, race first, self-reliance and nationhood at the core of Garveyism, R, F, S, R and M. In Asbwak formulation, we can articulate the following. The African person self working in victorious thrust of RFSR and N. The harmonious and complementary union of the African man and the African woman working in victorious thrust of RFSR and N. The African family working in the victorious thrust of RFSR and N. The African community working in victorious thrust of RFSR and N. The African nation working in the victorious thrust of RFSR and N and the African world community working in victorious thrust of RF, SR and N. Now each of those tenets can be applied in the best ways that it's possible to do given a given where uh, African souls are located, their, uh, su uh, their circumstance, their condition for the betterment of African life. As we imbibe the spirit of Garveyism in practicing the uh, readily accessible spiritual formulation of Asbok, African spirituality by way of Kwanzaa. So with that, food for thought, and surely it is food for thought, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people, wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. Germany for the Germans, do we take it unreasonably? We the blacks of the world that raise the cry of Africa for the Africans.